Triple D, ladies and gentlemen, triple D. No, I'm not going crazy. I'm not speaking in tongues. Get your head out of the gutter. When I say triple D, I say democracy dies in Davos. Here we are again, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are with the World Economic Forum and the Great Reset trying to take over the world. And this coming year, they are about to roll out their initiative to all of the leaders around the world. Folks, we have to fight this before it kills our country. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? James Lane here. It is Monday, December 21st, and we are now visiting the Great Reset again. Once you thought it was gone, no, folks, it's like the cockroach. It's hard to kill. The Great Reset is coming, folks. It's coming, and we must be prepared. And now... Now the World Economic Forum is admitting that Davos 2021, and if you don't know what that is, Davos 2021 is a huge uh, uh, thing that they usually hold in Davos, Switzerland. It's a very Game of Thrones looking area. Go it, do it, do it. Go to DuckDuckGo, to go to Google, go wherever you go. Type in Davos, Switzerland. You're going to look at that and be like, Winterfell. No, no, but seriously, it's ridiculous. It's a bunch of rich people, world leaders like um, George Soros, uh, like tech billionaires like the leaders of socialist countries, all of these people, even Americans go there. Mnuchin's been there before. Hmm. They go and they discuss their plans for how they want to weave the world going forward. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. See, we don't pay attention to this stuff. We're blue collar, we're white knuckle, we're hardworking, calloused hand, broken back, working hard, making a living, putting food on the table, at least before they told us we weren't allowed to, Americans. And these are the rich aristocrats, the wealthy bureaucrats, the coastal elites of the world of the globe, ladies and gentlemen. And they operate in a different sphere, a uh, different sphere, a different plane of existence, if you will. I mean, think about it. Let's say you make 40,000 a year. Let's say you make 60,000 a year. Let's say you even make 100,000 a year. Do you have any idea what somebody who makes 400,000 a year lives like? Do you? Do you have any idea what uh, somebody who makes 800,000 a year lives like or, or, or looks like or does or even what they do for fun? What's somebody who makes $5 million a year do for fun? All we have is MTV Cribs, ladies and gentlemen, at least my generation did, because we don't know. Well, I'll tell you what they do. I'll tell you what they do besides meeting up in weird uh, islands and 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 uh, and dressing up effigies, burning them on fire and worshiping owl gods. They also go to a little town in Switzerland and they discuss what they're going to do to the world and how it will affect your lives. And this time, ladies and gentlemen, they've crossed the line because the socialist agenda, the worldwide takeover, the globalist takeover, the, the BLM terrorism, the critical race theory, the, the everything, all this crap, it's spreading across the globe and forming itself into one uh, a black tar like um pollution monster from the movie fern gully the children's story back from uh the 80s or 90s or whenever it was a, a disgusting hate-filled creature of doom that's coming to consume us all and its name from the depths of Hades. It is not Beelzebub. It is not Thealtakri. I just made that one up. It's the Great Reset. And this demon is coming with a vengeance. We're going to start reading. This is Christina Layla, the Gateway Pundit. World Economic Forum admits Davos 2021 will reveal the Great Reset Initiative. And folks, if you aren't awake, well, you better wake up now, because this is far scarier than anything that's happening here. Let's read. The World Economic Forum unveiled a preview for its Davos 2021 agenda. The meeting 
of the world's political and corporate elites next month will be a digital event due to COVID concerns. Mm, they only play the part when eyes are upon them, don't they? Many on the right were mocked for saying the Great Reset was a part of a larger conspiracy to impose worldwide tyranny. We were mocked. I brought you a video about the Great Reset the other month. It explains everything you need to know off their website. And at the end of this video, I am going to link it. So make sure you stick around for this whole video. Um, or at least fast forward to the end so you can get that little box that says click here and you can learn all about the Great Reset. We'll talk about it a little bit here and there, but if you really want that in-depth uh, uh, explanation right from their website, right from the World Economic Forum's website about how they're going to take over the world, then you need to click that. You need to watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, the globalists are openly admitting they're using COVID-19 as a vehicle to usher in a Marxist takeover of the world. World, yet conservatives who sounded the alarm are mocked as conspiracy theorists. And that we have been. See, look at this. The Great Reset harnessing the fourth industrial uh, revolution. They live in another world, ladies and gentlemen. The globalists are using this as the worldwide takeover. Check this out. The COVID-19 pandemic, this is coming from them, all right, has demonstrated that no institution or individual alone can address the economic environmental, social, and technological challenges of our complex interdependent world. Oh, it sounds so difficult. The pandemic itself will not transform the world, but it has accelerated systemic. Remember, systemic, they use that word when they want to call everybody racist. Systemic changes that were apparent before its inception. See? The fault lines that emerged in 2020 now appear as critical crossroads in 2021. The time to rebuild trust and to make crucial choices is fast approaching as the need to reset priorities and urgency to reform systems grow stronger around the world. Remember that our country is ruled by the people. Do you guys remember? Are you awake yet? Do you not see the the oligarchy, the rich ruling class, the coastal elites, the wealthy, the global elites of the world dangling their puppet strings above you? Don't you feel the gravity being forced down upon you? Don't you feel yourself choking on bile as you hear these words? Ladies and gentlemen, these are are traitors if they are pushing the great reset and they are from the united states they are traitors the davos agenda will also mark the launch of the world economics forum uh, the world economic forum's great reset initiative and begin the preparation of the special annual meeting in the spring for the Great Reset. Recently, the global elites, uh, elitists at the WEF told the public to start eating weeds, algae, bugs, and fungus. Are you ready for this? The strange diet. It comes from a recent virtual event hosted by the World Economic Forum by the leaders of the world calling for bold action for food as a force for good. When does Soylent Green start, ladies and gentlemen? When is it made of people? The WEF highlighted five main reasons that you should start grazing on some weeds. Are you ready? One, they're easy to grow. Okay. You know, pot's easy to grow too. Two, they can be rich in nutrients. Wow. Brondo, it's what plants crave. We need to diversify our diets. Yeah, just like we need to diversify anything else. Next, they're going to tell me my gut biome's racist and I have to drink bleach to cleanse myself. That's what's going to happen next. These cult-like idiots. They know more about the soil than we do what the, the what are they talking about the who knows they do like like the world economic forum knows or are they actually talking about the sentient being that is tree moss i can't tell and they apparently taste great do me a favor or well, you don't have to do it but if you'd like it go outside and just grab some weeds out of the ground and just stick them in your mouth and just start chewing on them and you let me know how that tastes and if it tastes great you go on you go join the socialists you go join the democrats the leftists you go shoo shoo baby go join them and go eat grass ladies and gentlemen go eat grass and go sell out our country to the globalists and the socialists because at least we'll know who you are and then uh, you know we'll know who to imprison when this is all over many have scrutinized the wef for attempting to further economic globalization right 
and make the planet one giant third world country. You really think this isn't happening? They also research and publish ways to eliminate red meat from American diets, real meat, and replace it with alternatives. I wonder where plant-based uh, meat had come from. That's the creepiest abomination, by the way, that ground beef that's apparently made from plants. That's from probably some gene editing, splicing, weird technology. I would never eat that. I wouldn't go near that with a 10-foot stick. I wouldn't go near that with my vegan friend's mouth. I wouldn't go near that with a carcass's mouth. Screw that. I'll eat that tofurkey stuff. I'll eat that fake, uh, you know, some of the vegan foods. Okay, but not weird fake ground beef. What is it made of Venus fly? Tra well, we have to get the plant that is a carnivore to make a what are they? And then they're going to say Venus fly trap freaking lives. Man, I'm done with this shit. Pardon my language in that research. The World Economic Forum recommended making people eat fungus. I did see that Super Mario Brothers movie when I was a kid. What? What? How did that? Um, did anybody else see that? They had the uh, the guy. What did he? He play the. What is it? Uh, ain't got no money. Ain't got no cash. Something. Something. Blah 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 blah. And this world is in a great big stupa because of the evil king. Ku. I can't believe I remember that. I saw that in like ninety five or something like that. Look, that world was a shithole. If you go back and you watch the Super Mario's move, uh, Super Mario Brother uh, movie, that really it's actually not that bad, depending on how many drinks you've had. But if you go back and watch that movie, they lived in a socialist dinosaur infested shithole. And that's what they're trying to make this world a dinosaur infested socialist shithole, ladies and gentlemen. And if it does um, come to fruition, then I'm pretty sure this recording will eventually get me arrested and sent to the eventual gulags. But uh, I'm making these videos to try and help you guys prevent that. So keep paying attention in that research. The World Economic Forum recommended making people eat fungus instead of beef crickets instead of pork, algae instead of chicken, because mm, 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 I just want me some of them green, slimy, delicious algae nuggets, baby. Yum, yum, yum. The World Economic Forum in a November of 2017 blog post told people to envision a world taken over by technocrats. Why would I want to envision that? Oh, this is terrifying. Welcome to 2030. I own nothing. I have no privacy and my life's never been better. Oh, man, I can't wait to invite the government into the bathroom, uh, you know, for those special times a day. Never mind. Just kidding. Don't even pay attention. That was a really off putting poor taste joke. Some of you guys might have liked it, and that's OK. It was for you. For the other people who didn't like it, forget that it even happened. I'm sorry. It's one of those days. There's a lot of articles out here that are really pissing me off. So I'm pretty hyped up. All right, guys, I'm a sailor at heart and I may be inappropriate sometimes. I'm not perfect. All right. So you thought this was scary enough, right? This looks like a uh, like a poster to me. Look at this. The Great Reset. Look at that. Greatreset.com. You can go right there. Greatreset.com. That's the future. Androgynous, weird guy. Um, nothing wrong with this African-American woman. And then this, I, I guess she's the girl from uh, what's that show? You know, with the meth in it was in New Mexico. Uh, what did that guy call himself? I, I don't remember. You know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that uh, that show. They cook Jesse, you know, the guy, Michael Cranston or whatever's in it, he kills or lets her choke to death on heroin overdose or whatever the hell. Uh, anyway, if you don't remember that, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Either way, this looks like a wonderful bunch. I really, really want my kids to grow up and be like these people. Why do we need a great reset? Why not read, ladies and gentlemen? Knowledge is power and the right needs knowledge and it needs power to take on the left. So let's read the pause during the lockdown created by the pandemic will result in a 7% decrease in global emissions in 2020. <gasps> oh, did they find that 
putting everybody in their homes and making them want to kill themselves or become drug addicts decreased our carbon footprint. That must be good for the planet. Screw the people. The UN states that we need a decrease of 7.6 every year until 2030. <gasps> Maybe we'll just have a lockdown every year until 2030. Maybe that'll be the conditioning we need for the Great Reset. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to read the hell out of this to get what they're actually saying to you. It should terrify you. Ladies and gentlemen, they're fear mongering, saying if we don't do this, there'll be an ecological disaster by 2030. This needs uh, this means we need to maintain the same decrease every year as if we were living in lockdown. Plain English, folks. Right there. It's no secret. We should be in the streets by the hundreds of the thousands with signs for this. The challenge is that as we emerge from the pandemic, the pressure to go back to business as usual will intensify. That's from us, the right. But people don't want to go back. Yeah, that's you guys, the lazy people that don't. Um, and it doesn't matter. That's not a racist statement. That's for anybody on the left, regardless of color, shape, size, ethnicity, uh, uh, underwear size, whether you identify as a pineapple, whether you identify as a sea snake, whatever you are. People don't want to go back because they're lazy. They don't have discipline. They've uh, sworn off all of those things. And they've said, oh, those are racist qualities. We should all sit on our asses and become the, the people that were in the floating chairs in the, uh, the space cruise ship from the movie. Wow. You remember that movie, right? When he got to outer space, they were like in this space shuttle thing for like 300 years waiting for the destroyed Earth to get better. And they were all like 900 pounds. None of them had ever walked. Yeah, that's what they want us to become. Subservient little voters, numbers that pay the ultra wealthy ruling class to live in a world without us. Why else would they destroy the middle class, ladies and gentlemen? Only 23% of the UK public believe following lockdown advertising uh, should encourage people to consume, shop and fly like before the lockdown. But 77% believe it's the industry's responsibility to encourage people to behave more sustainably. Remember when I told you guys about corporate social responsibility? I'm going to look that up really quick for you. I want to show you something. This was a concept developed a long time ago to help businesses. All right. It makes them look better and makes people spend more money. So it creates a culture of companies doing good deeds, but they're not actually doing good deeds. They're doing whatever it takes to make more money. This is the trap. This is how they've bear trapped our corporations, our capitalism. This is how they're trying to sink our ship. Corporate social responsibility is a type of international private business self-regulation that aims to contribute to societal goals of philanthropic activist or charitable nature by engaging in or supporting volunteering or ethically oriented uh, more ethically oriented practice. That's a nice way of saying we're going to do whatever we need to do to make our company look like it's doing good deeds so that you spend more money. The problem is, is when the socialists redefine what a good deed is, the companies blindly follow. We need less accountants and we need more cowboys and cowgirls, ladies and gentlemen. Don't always follow the numbers. Sometimes you have to shoot from the hip. This lack of shooting from this hip, this complacent society we've developed into, this corporate social responsibility makes us good little boys and good little girls, depending on the industry to tell them how to be more sustainable. That is what we are fighting. That is what we're trying to break. Our country is the last beacon of hope for the world. If we fall, we all fall down. They say right now we have a small window of opportunity to reset and shape the future we want. Now, this goes on and on and on, and we may do another video on that. We may do a Great Reset 3. And I want to show you this as well. I went through here this on another video. I'm going to post this, all right? Not just post it, but I'm going to put it in that little square box if you're watching on YouTube, and I'll link it. You could find it in my uh, previous videos, but I will make sure there's a little box that has it in there at the end of this video if you're watching on YouTube so that you can go to it. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, just look back like 10, 15 podcasts, something like that, and you'll see it. It's called The Great Reset. That's like the first words in it, and I literally take over an hour or two, something like that, and I go through every little detail detail all of this and every bit and piece you could imagine and i explain to you exactly what they're planning to do and it is absolutely terrifying 
We need to pay attention to this, ladies and gentlemen. Democracy dies in Davos, right? This is how they kill the United States. This is their plan. This is what they realized. When we fought the Soviet Union, when we fought the communist agenda, when we have been going against the ideologies of other nations, other socialist nations, we've been going against Marxism, we've been going against all of these things for so long, they finally realized they could never beat us. So how could they get us? What weapon could they develop? How could they infiltrate the mighty United States of America? Culture bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Corporate culture bomb. Use your First Amendment. God forbid we have to get to the second. Use your First Amendment like your life depends on it. Because it does, ladies and gentlemen. Because it does. So... We're going to see you in the next video. Until then, I want you to do me a favor. If you haven't subscribed yet, if you're on YouTube, on Rumble, anywhere else, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. There is nobody else on the internet doing what I do. Nobody's making the hard calls. A couple people are, but nobody's doing it with no sponsorship, with grassroots, with word of mouth, with you and me, with we the people, the power of we the people, the power of the American dream, of the American spirit. That is what has brought us to this level. That is what has brought this podcast, this company past 10,000 listens a month. This is what has brought us the grassroots floor level dirt floor, ground floor, callous hands, white knuckled American success. It's not me. It's all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, pass the words around. The left is censoring the hell out of us. And if you don't pass this around, nobody will see it. If you're on Apple Podcasts, give me that five-star rating. Give me a honest review. By doing that, it massages the algorithm. It moves me up the rankings. It moves me up the Apple ladder. And more patriots get to see this. More patriots wake up. And more patriots join our cause. Join the American Reveille movement. Pass it forward. And bring this nation alive again. Ladies and gentlemen, alive again. If you'd like to contribute, if you want to see us grow, if you want to see us be able to become a much larger entity and help give back to this great country and create ways to give others success, give others the tools that we've got, please, please, please go to www.americanreveille.com. I'll show you. It's as simple as this right there. AmericanRevely.com. Now we're going to have a new website coming out in the next couple weeks, maybe a month or two, something like that. And you're really going to love what you see. But until then, go to this website right here, AmericanRevely.com. That's E-I-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Not any other way. It's not revolution. It's Revely. It's a wake up call, ladies and gentlemen. Look it up. Folks, come right over here to the donate tab if you can. Remember, all I need you to do for me is spread the word and talk about this podcast. But if you've got a little bit extra and you want to help the cause, hit that donate tab. You can give us any amount you want. You can Bitcoin us. If you have Bitcoin, you can go right here and do this barcode thingy, this Q code thingy, or copy that code down there and give us some Bitcoin. We greatly appreciate that. I know it's easier for a lot of people. You can hit this donate tab right here. It takes your right to PayPal, $5, $25, $100. You give us a dollar. You hit this other amount button, you give us 50 cents. Anything helps, but it all gets reinvested into the American Reveille and put back out to the Patriots, ladies and and gentlemen. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. This uh, may be my last video for the night. I may do another one. If not, I look forward to talking to you tomorrow and putting out more great information for the Patriots to succeed with. Folks, thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.